That is my biggest concern right now, is that policy is four to eight years behind. We're still addressing the opioid pill crisis, the prescription crisis, um, and we're not adequately addressing the fentanyl, and particularly not adequately addressing the fentanyl crisis that's happening right now. We need very different policies for an undulating, highly potent uh, uh, drug environment right now. Uh, we're not, we don't need to just address prescribing and, and exuberant prescribing practices uh, of physicians. We need to understand fentanyl is a poison. Because it's a poison, we could do better surveillance on it. We, we have to stop waiting for the bodies to pile up and the toxicological reports, which are telling us what's happening in people who have died. I want to know what's happening in people who are living. And also these reports take a year, two years sometimes. I don't want to know what's happening in 2017, in 2019. I need to know what's happening last week. And with drug surveillance, I can understand what's happening last week. I can, if, if, if we obtain drug, analyze it, produce reports, I can tell first, first responders, whether they're ER docs, harm reduction folks, or the users themselves, what has changed in their drug supply.